Hi everyone, this is Dave from Geekanoids and welcome to my continued coverage of the Apple iPad. Yes, I did manage to get one of these sent over to the UK and if you check out my main Geekanoids channel page you'll see that I've already got some videos up. I've got a full unboxing and product tour as well as a look through all of the Apple pre-installed applications including separate videos for Safari and Mail and also the Photos and iPod applications. Well, over the last 24 hours I've been downloading a lot of apps and this video is the first of my app reviews and it's for Zinio by Zinio LLC. This is the icon here. So I tap the icon, it launches the application. Now this is a free application available on the iTunes App Store. And what Zinio are hoping is that you use their application to purchase and subscribe to various magazines and publications. Now at the moment we're in explore mode this gives you a cover for the magazine as well as a couple of pages to look at and I can scroll through the various publications that are available. Now in this uh, particular view I've also got some icons at the top here so let's quickly show you what they do. I've got a question mark which gives me some help topics so I can learn how to use Zinio. I've also got a settings tab allows me to log out on my account or to change my password. I've also got a little square icon here, little, four little squares. And if I tap on that, it gives me a different way of just browsing through the various publications. Uh, just simply a cover for each. If I close that view, go back out to explore view, I've got two more tabs here. The read one actually shows me what I've got available to read. So here I've got seven publications available. The ones with the little blue writing underneath are ones that I haven't actually downloaded to my iPad, but they are available to download. If I made a purchase, then this would also appear here. This one here was a free publication, I've already downloaded it, and that's why I haven't got any blue writing underneath. The last tab along the bottom here is Shop. If I tap on that, it actually takes me into the shop and I've got various categories down the side here. I can even perhaps go on top sellers and that shows me the top selling magazines and publications that are available. And if I tap on one, it gives me some details about the publication. It also uh, gives me a little bit of writing about it. Uh, a special deal on here for a three year subscription. And as you can see, the prices are really good. I can get a single issue for $5.99, so that's just under $6, or an annual subscription for just $10. So I can get this magazine for a whole year delivered electronically for just $10. I think that's fantastic value for money. Let's just go back to the top sellers again. I just want to show you the Macworld one. This is the one I've already downloaded a free issue for. But this is still fantastic value for money, and you'll see why when I actually show you the publication. Single issue, $7, so not much of a saving there, but still a little bit of a saving. But an annual subscription for under $20. So there's a whole year of Macworld for under $20. I think the only drawback for UK readers is that this is going to be US orientated, so all the prices are going to be in dollars on the adverts and they don't do an actual UK version as far as I know. Please correct me if I'm wrong. So let's go back onto the Read tab and we're going to pop into that Macworld publication that we've already downloaded. Now, in this uh, landscape view, we're given the cover on the right-hand side of the screen here and I can swipe from left to right to actually look at the pages turn by turn. There's no animation turn as in the iBooks app from Apple but it's still a nice fluid motion. Now if I'm finding this too long winded to go through page by page then I can simply tap once on the page and I'm given a thumbnail view down here and I can scroll through these thumbnails until I get to the page I want and perhaps I want to look at this uh, iPad arrives page and here I've got this landscape view with a bit of writing on the left. And if I can't quite read this, I can pinch to zoom and I can actually zoom into this, this text or I can double tap 
to go back out to full view. Or there is a third option as well. I can tap a little text icon here and that just takes away all of the photos and all of the distraction. I'm given the text only for that page. The little text icon is replaced with a page icon so I can go back to page view. Now if I tap once again there's also some other icons at the top here. I've got a grid icon so I can get a grid up of all of the pages. If I want to just change my mind and go back to that same page I can tap close and it goes back to the last page I was looking at. There's also another icon up here which I can tap and this brings up a table of contents in text mode so I can scroll through all of the pages until I get to one I want to go to and then just tap to go to that particular page. Now, a little bit of a bug I think in the application is every time I do that it is going into text view rather than remaining in page view. But that's quickly corrected by just tapping the page icon down the bottom. Now I'm going to actually pull up this list again and I want to go back to the iPod article, sorry the iPad article. Tap on that page to bring that to the front. And I'm just going to switch round to portrait format to show you how it looks in portrait format. You still get access to all the same buttons. I've still got the icons down the bottom here and I've still got the same icons at the top. But now I've got a much larger and more natural orientation to viewing a magazine and it's just going to show me page by page. Now sometimes the pages come up blue like this and that's because it's uh, putting an overlay on for interactive content. And this is really where the iPad is going to come into its own because I've got what would normally just be a picture of the iPad. But now I can tap this play icon and it actually loads in a video for me to watch from Macworld with uh, some, some great content to listen to and watch about the iPad. So absolutely fantastic. If I go further on through here to this page, another blue page because it's loading some overlay information. Here I've got a picture of an accessory for the iPad. If I tap on that, it's going to load in some photos that Macworld have provided of the various accessories and cases, etc., that are available for the iPad. And that's just fantastic. I think that is so, so good that they have actually thought about how this is all going to interact together absolutely fantastic another really nice way that these electronic versions of uh, reviews work is that you do get embedded links so if I zoom in here as you can see we've got some links here and it's mentioning for example cultured codes things application and then there's a little link and if I tap on that link it takes me out of the magazine reader and into my browser and here I'm given a review of that application that they mentioned on the Macworld website. I tap close and it takes me back to the magazine that I was reading. And, and they're going to be able to add things like this for uh, adverts. So you can go to the particular product that's being advertised. A really nice way of adding interactivity and an easy way as well for advertisers to make their products accessible. This particular one, an advert for Hypermac, well, you've got a link around here, and I can actually tap on that, and it will take me, hopefully, to the Hypermac website, where I can actually purchase the product that they were advertising. Really effective advertising, really neat way of doing it. You don't have to click on the link, but certainly if you see something you want to purchase, what better way than to get to it than to just tap a link and be able to purchase that product that you've seen advertised or reviewed on your iPad. Absolutely superb. So this is the Zinio application by Zinio LLC. Free application on the iPad. Really, really nicely put together and a joy to use. Well, thank you very much for listening. Please come back soon and check out more video reviews on the Geekanoids channel. This video review is sponsored by EasyDraw, making drawing fun on Mac OS X.